Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project, it's Tony here, your favorite YouTuber. In today's video I'm going to showcase, unbox and do a kind of a quick review and of course a brief history of the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play. What was essentially and what people call it the PlayStation phone. Why it actually failed, when was it released, how much it cost and all of that just so. Without further ado, let's get it on. Okay guys, so back in 2011, Sony Ericsson, um, at least that was the company was called back in the day, it was a joint venture between Ericsson and Sony. Um, they were going through some restructuring, they invested quite a lot of money and their uh, Xperia phones back in the day, the Xperia uh, S, the Xperia P, but at the time this phone was released, it was very similar to the Xperia Arc, that was their current flagship at the time and it had pretty much the same specifications. You, you could get the Xperia Arc for about £500 and this one was a little bit more expensive towards the £600 you know, range which was quite expensive back in the day but let's face it Sony products have always been expensive nevertheless. Nowadays, how much do you pay for one of these? Well, due to some hardware failures, uh, some you know, display issues, flex cable issues, most of those devices are already broken anyways and it's very very hard to find one of those units in mint condition pretty much uh, but you're looking at over a hundred pounds for one of those devices. Is it worth it? Well, absolutely not uh, <laughs> and I'm going to explain that with one simple thing. Let's face it, it was 2011 and one could get one of those PSPs for half that 50 or 60 quid is going to get you a five year old PSP or if you waited a few months down the line you can get a PS Vita for about 200-220 pounds. It was released a little bit after that. So at the time Sony weren't really moving a lot of phones. They were selling the uh, Xperia Arc phone which was essentially the same phone as this one without the slide out keyboard and uh, they already had the this device, the PSP Go, which flopped so badly that just under a year of production, they discontinued it in, to, in the beginning of 2000, uh, in uh, you know 2011. And what they did, of course, they released a phone with the same design as the PSP Go, but without the games, which is absolutely ridiculous, guys. I mean, let's finally unbox this phone and see what is going on over here. You can see the design, quite a lot of people were complaining about creaking plastics, well it's all plastic built to be honest with you and the Xperia Arc was the same without, I think without uh, one of those buttons, it had only three buttons. So yeah, once you, uh, you know, uh, slide out like that, check this out, I really actually like those buttons, they're really nice and clicky and uh, these are your simulated analog sticks over here, it's extremely cumbersome to use them by the way and the whole thing, I mean you've got these buttons over here, the left and the right triggers which are a pain to use and overall it feels kind of cramped, I mean I've got average hands and uh, my, my thumbs are cramped and it's just you kind of hold it like that like a nerd and it's really not a pleasant experience for example check this out the PSP you take it like that and it's sweet but this one this one is uncomfortable guys and um, let me show you what's going on at the back by the way uh, one more thing if you're buying the AT&T uh, um, variant as I am now it's impossible to unlock it so keep that in mind nobody can unlock it I find it quite peculiar that check this out it says second mic over here this device also comes with 8 gigabyte uh, you know micro SD card um, which is supplied out of the box you need that because some of the essential files for the gaming are over there we're going to put the back cover in a second, but first let's insert the battery, guys. Uh, and by the way, the memory card doesn't work properly because the back cover triggers um, one of the, I think it's, it's that pin over here, to let you know that it's closed. So without the back cover, the memory card is not being read properly and it doesn't work. But I mean, come on, guys. I mean, you can't really deny that, okay, it's plastic, but it's really nice. However, one thing you should keep in mind is that, you know, the uh, PSP, the PlayStation Vita, these are solid 
build devices there are no issues mostly with them but those phones i mean they had plenty of issues guys so what else is in the box you've got the cable over here you've got a 3.5 millimeter extension cord you've got the charger and you've got this kind of a dock which I'm not sure what exactly you're gonna use it for except for you know display purposes but nevertheless you've got some books over here and pretty much the phone is booted guys I'm just going to remove this one over here and show you what the deal is so check this out classic Sony uh, Ericsson unlocking over here the display was just over four inches and it was 4080p LCD screen now Samsung had AMOLED um, at the time and Motorola with the uh, you know XT910 they had the AMOLED screen as well the Razer phone they had the AMOLED uh, as well so this device was kind of behind the competition in terms of specifications they were going you know at the uh, dual core processors already this one has the I believe the Snapdragon Scorpion 1 GHz processor and the thing is the thing is in terms of gaming check this out guys i mean th this one never really got an update it's running android uh, let me see which which version of android is it actually running um let's have a quick look over here check this out 2.3.3 now th that's from the time that phones never really actually got any updates guys so the thing is the thing is that you can't really use any applications anymore because they stopped the service and what you essentially got over here let me show you guys in terms of additional software you got play games software which is kind of nice and it looks like uh, the menus from the uh, you know the, the playstations and check this out these are all the games but these are not essential games these are th these are just regular games you can play on any touch screen phone uh, you know when you press get games nothing happens of course but where the difference is is over here guys check this out you've got quite a lot of bl bloatware by the way over here playstation pocket and that was that was your your playstation games now with the games you had the following problem the only game available out of the box kind of like a demo version was the crash bandicoot over here which i'm going to start in a second but first a quick explanation you start crash bandicoot and as i believe from the release of the device that was the only playstation one game available it was kind of a playstation classic and all the rest of the games were just regular games that i like asphalt like any other android phone would have so basically you didn't have any proper specific games for that device and you relied on sony to update the library which they never did essentially i think that they've introduced some additional games but pretty much that was it and Hopefully nowadays we've got a few tools which let you convert PlayStation 1 ISOs to a similar method Sony used for, for this um, game over here. Essentially it's an emulation, kind of a built-in Sony specific emulation. And you have to create the cover art yourself, you have to name the game of course and install it on the memory card. That's how you run it. But the problem by using this method is the compatibility issues. For example, Need for Speed 4 over here. Let's let's give it a start. Check this out. Let's give it a start. And um, okay, new game. And the game just doesn't start, guys. That's 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 the problem. Check this out. The PlayStation logo now. Oh yes. Oh yes, and the game is up to here pretty much. It doesn't it doesn't go past that screen, guys. And the thing is that the, the rest of the games are pretty much on the same boat. I mean, let me go back to that screen over here and I'm gonna show you. Okay, PlayStation Pocket. Where was that? PlayStation Pocket. You can play Twisted Metal, but there are sound issues with it. And let me show how Crash Bandicoot looks. You've got stereo speakers, by the way. They're kind of bottom facing over here. They're not bad speakers, but they're not particularly, you know, very good. Nevertheless, um, but the thing is that that's 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 the main reason. No games, and essentially that's that's what killed the playstation vita so it's extremely you know weird for me that the same year that they discontinued the playstation go they decided to release that device with very similar looks that's let me just 
power it down a little bit. That's just crazy, guys. That's that's just weird to me. It's, it's it seems like a pretty bad financial decision. And at the end of this year, they released the PlayStation Vita, which means that by the time they released this device, the Vita was already in development. They cancelled, you know, the PSP Go, and a few months, just a few months after the release of this phone, essentially nobody bought it, so they discounted it further and uh, they stopped the production after that which is which is which is very weird guys uh, but you know how these uh, asian companies they operate sometimes they want to do something they couldn't care less about sales or anything else really and they just do it but i mean guys you can see you can see the difference in those screens over here there's a massive difference and the thing is that that's not particularly a very good screen and as you can see over here the image is stretched to 16 by 9 which is not is not the original look of the game and to be honest with you the game although it runs fine it's a little bit kind of smoother than i expect it to be to be honest with you i mean there's there's definitely some kind of you know motion blur or lack or i don't know how how do i call it but it doesn't play you know 100 smooth I, I, by the way i know i have to jump on these crates but anyway just for just for showing what's going on it feels it feels like it should play let's say if the game originally plays on 60 fps that's that feels more like 40 fps or something like that so although it plays fine it's not for the purists in terms of uh, you know resolution and all of that and these are the options that you've got over here medium volume controller settings screen mode let me see if we can uh normal let me see if we can change that actually to normal and see what happens is it four by three yes now it's four by three uh, the original aspect ratio but the thing is the thing is that now the screen is even smaller guys so it's definitely not an ideal solution it's just it just is it's too small i mean the battery is small as well uh and and i mean it's it's crazy they've got the vga camera uh, at the front over here at the back they've put a five megapixel camera and pretty much that is it guys i mean it definitely feels nice uh, and it belongs it kind of belongs to your collection if you're if you're this kind of guy but overall especially nowadays you can get one of those psps for like 50 quid as well or even the ps vita you can get some very cheap ps vitas mint condition like that is like 100 quid so all of those devices that's very very interesting this one is about 100 quid this one is about 100 quid the psp go is about 100 quid i mean if you really need this form factor just get the psp go instead of this one so yeah i can't really recommend it for gaming and one other thing is that you might say you can run you know playstation emulators i'm not sure whether in 2011 and whether the new uh you know emulators are supported uh android 2.3 to be honest with you that the, these are very um a lot newer than uh, you know this device is so i'm really not sure how well they're gonna run if they run um you know at all uh but the compatibility of course should be better but at the end of the day i mean don't buy this device <laughs> that's that's pretty much what i mean so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and i'm gonna see you in the next one adios <laughs>